Hello, I'm Lori Brackett, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use four of the tools in Corel Paint Shop Pro version 15 to improve the look of photos. First, I will crop the image, then I will use the blemish remover to get rid of some blemishes. Next, I will use the clone tool, that, so that way I can clone out an unwanted element. And then lastly, I'll show you what it looks like to use the one-step photo fix. Now I have started by opening up the file in the edit screen. The first thing I will do will be to crop the image. Now if you come over here, you will see that there is the crop tool. Go ahead and click on that. You'll notice that it comes up with this grid work as well as this pop-up toolbar. If you hover your cursor over it, it tells you what each icon means. To get started, I'm going to click on this where it gives me the aspect ratio of the sizes that's needed. Now the aspect ratio has to do with what size the image will be enlarged to uh, without further cropping. Um, you'll notice that the 2x3 goes up to the 4x6 size and then that also goes up to some other popular sizes like the 9x12 or the 12x36. It also does the 12 by 16 and the 18 by 24. Now also with this, you'll notice that the four by five does the eight by 10 size um, and also the 16 by 20 size. For me, I am just going to choose the five by seven. So I've got that clicked on and it's ready to go. Now you'll notice the grid work is divided into thirds. This is uh, so that it's easy for you to place your uh, focal point in an area that uh, is going to create a nice composition. Now I'm going to crop this down. I do that by clicking on it and bringing down the edges. Now I'm going to move this because I want his eyes to be in the third, in the top third there be able to create a nice composition. And once I get this centered to where I want it, you see his eyes are right there. It creates a nice composition so that it's not dead center or pushed too far to one side or too far to the other side. And actually, I'm going to squeeze that down just a little bit more. And you can adjust this to whatever size you want it. Then I'm going to come over here and check the Apply button. So now we have uh, the image right there. So I've shown you how to use the Crop tool. Now we're going to go through and we are going to get rid of some of his blemishes. Now I'm going to use the roller bar on my mouse to make the image just a little bit larger so that I could work with it. I'm going to come over here to this, which is the Makeup tool. I'm going to click on that. It has a red eye feature and the makeup or the makeover, and I'm going to click on that. You notice that your cursor has a little dot. If you enlarge it even more, you'll see an, a small circle inside a larger circle. What the blemish remover does is you center that over a blemish, and it takes the pixels from the outside area and moves it to where it'll cover your blemish. Now DJ had a little accident here, and he's got still a little bit of scar and healing, and I'm going to get rid of that red mark, because normally he doesn't have a red mark across his nose. And then I'm just going to pick a few areas here to get rid of some of these little uneven spots in his complexion. It's, it's good to have it blown up a little bit so you can see what you're doing and you just use the slider bars to get it to go work your way down and around there is also a tool um, that can be used it's a skin um, softening tool also uh, part of it but that softens the whole skin or that softens the whole area and I don't want uh, quite that soft of focus over the whole place. So I am just going to remove some of these major ones. 
He does have a freckle on his ear, so I'll leave the freckle on his ear alone. Okay, so now that we've used the uh, blemish remover, um, it makes it to where he has a little bit clearer looking skin, and that's good there. So now we can step back, take a look at it, decide if there's something else that we would like to do. And in looking at this composition, I do not like this tree being here, so I would like to use the crop button. So we come down here, and it, or the clone button, sorry, and we're gonna hit, click on that, and we're going to hit the clone. Now with the clone, I've used it previously, so I've got it set up to this larger size. But if you want to adapt the size or the opacity or any of that, you come up here to these presets here. Uh, with this one, that's the way the spray would look like. Otherwise, you can go with smaller sprays. You can even go with uh, round sprays there. Uh, with this, it does the shape. There's the circle or, again, the little square. I'm going to keep it with the circle. Right here is the size. So you can start out with very small if you have something very small to do. Uh, I'm just kind of clicking it here. And then when you bring it over here, you see how the circle is smaller. You can go you know, way down if you just want to clone a little bit. Me, since I'm removing the whole big tree, see how small it gets. Since I'm cloning the whole big tree, I would like to go pretty large. So we'll keep it with that. Um, now with the hardness, if you'll notice here, you get the fuzzy edge. You have the hard edge versus the very fuzzy edge. I kind of like it right there in the middle. With this one, you can see how it. you can either sm run it by smearing it or just do separate little... Um, Spots. I'm going to do the separate little spots on that. Um, with the density, you can see that you can either have it to where it is, uh, where it is either the full out here, or you can go to the light splatter. Um, the thickness depends on if you want the round circle or more towards the oval, and the rotation depends on how you want to rotate it. The opacity depends on how uh, transparent or opaque you want it to be. And then, of course, the blend mode has all these other little uh, things to go with it. We're just going to go with the, um, with the normal today. Now, what you do is you come over to an area um, that you want this to look like. Uh, so you uh, come over here and you right-click, and that's what it's taken from. And then if you come over here, you can just do that. Uh, when you're doing a whole bunch of cloning, you want to vary the size and color, or vary the spot because you don't want a bunch of the same spot going over and over again and just kind of click on that it's okay to leave a little bit if you want to show the tree um, also if you get to cloning and don't like what it looks like you can always hit the undo button and change it okay so I am just gonna kind of go like that decide kind of how I want it add some more sparkle and there we go. Now the tree is gone from the background. And that's an easy way to do some cloning. Now that I've come to the cloning step, now I want to show you what the uh, one step photo fix will do to enhance the uh, picture. Now this can be for um, beginners or for those who do not want to take a whole lot of time to do their uh, photo fixing. Um, otherwise you can go to uh, other areas like um, 
the adjust or the effects if you want to experiment with those. With the adjust, you can do the brightness and contrast, the lighting and darkness. But if you don't have a whole lot of time to do that or you're not yet that experienced, you can do the photo enhancing and do the one step photo fix. Click on that and you'll see how it uh, brightens up the bright or brightens up the colors and it makes the lights and the darks uh, more vibrant and it just kind of enhances the picture overall. So you see with these uh, easy tools, it's great to be able to uh, fix up your pictures and make them look really good. Um, so as you see, I, I've shown you how to uh, crop the image. I've shown you how to remove some blemishes. Um, I've shown you how to do some cloning. And now I've also shown you a quick and easy way to enhance some of the color on it. Thank you for watching.